welcome everyone to the DeFi call every Wednesday. There's a big focus on Web3 moving forward and NFTs. So Unstoppable Domains is making things a lot easier. You can send a uh, transfer to a name, for instance, send coins or engage with these protocols rather than trying to use these long addresses. It, it's a great time to be going through and freshening up right now. Um, especially, you know, we're talking some of the stuff on the privacy side now too. So getting into more Monero using Rune to do swaps natively between Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever you want through the Rune network. So you don't even need to engage with, a, you know, an, a, another DeFi protocol or trying to work with the, the bridges or anything like that. Um, you can just do swaps natively. So it does come with the same fees, you know, Bitcoin fee, for instance. Um, but going to your wallets, it's much more cost effective than trying to withdraw from exchanges. Or the coin is called Zyber Token. They claim to be the first or among the first decentralized exchange specifically for um arbitrum pretty impressed to be honest they've added a lot this is where following the social media really comes in handy so these guys have been absolutely <laughs> flawless with their execution i was really impressed with the way they handled the launch the marketing everything so they've been adding a lot so some of the big things was the v3 efficiency so the only other dex that has the v3 concentrated liquidity is uniswap uh, considering this coin has a market cap of about 5 million uh, compared to Uniswap, they are doing all the right things. So concentrated liquidity is a big point that they're standing above and beyond. There's other things that they're doing here too. So they've got a fee on on and off ramp provider right in with the DEX, so Transact. But we like looking at the Twitter just because there's a lot of announcements going on starting to really take <laughs> uh, this, the world by storm. So Zyberswap right up there. You might have heard of GMX. We were talking about it a couple of weeks ago. Um, but overtaking Uniswap as far as volume goes. So our TVL, my apologies. Very clean, very minimalistic, which I like, but they've got a lot of the additional features. One of the first launch pads as well for Arbitrum. The fiat on-ramp, off-ramp is pretty much an unheard of addition. I don't see that really anywhere else. The cross-chain swaps is super new as well. So that was one of the latest announcements. I'm actually really surprised they've got this much already. Five million market cap <laughs> project. I am really impressed. DeFi will continue to refine and evolve. And we need it too, because there's a lot going on in the space that you know not necessarily everybody knows about that isn't in our best interest as a community um manipulation events stuff like that hacks you know there's a lot a lot of room for improvement you know we've come a long ways there's a lot of improvement over the traditional banking systems and structures but there's still a long ways to go as well so this is a big step in the in the right direction we'll continue to evolve if there are any changes that need to be made so very very much hunkering down paying very close attention and uh we'll be adding more